All right, guys. So today we're going to be playing around with sockets, and this isn't a tutorial like I usually do. This is just more of a showcase of what I'm doing because I think it's pretty cool. And uh, I was like, it's a while since I've made a video, so let's just go ahead and upload and show you guys what I'm actually doing when I'm not making tutorials because I clearly haven't been making that many tutorials lately. But anyways. What we're doing today, or what I'm going to be showing you, because I've already been sitting and playing around with this for a few hours. This over here is a Node.js server, and this over here is a PHP file. And we're playing with sockets. Here we go ahead and make the socket connection, and we connect to a socket server on localhost on this port here. Now, we could have gone ahead and done this over the internet or anything, but to keep it simple, we're just doing it locally. Then we just check if the connection works and if it doesn't, we'll just kill the application. And then we're just running this a hundred times and um, writing this to the server. And I will go ahead and explain this because this is a bit weird, but you kind of have to do it if you want to do what I'm doing. And in the Node.js server, we just import net and we set up a server show that we're listening for it and then we are listening for connections and then on data we're doing this and again we have this here now let me just quickly show you the application and i will explain why this has to be here so let me run it over here and you can see that that runs the application you can see that that goes over there and if we increase this number to a thousand then we'll get well a thousand over here now, the reason why this is here, this is a split. So if we don't do it this way, because this is a buffer, this means that when we run uh, or when we write from our um, PHP application, when we write very fast, the Node.js server combines the strings together. Now, when it does that, the JavaScript objects or JSON objects, they get combined. And to pass that, we have to split it out. So let me actually show you what's happening. So if we just write out the buffer, so we can just get the buffer here. There you go. If we go ahead and just write this out and write to the server, can you see that sometimes it just writes this? And this would be fine if we didn't have these, this would be valid json but sometimes when it runs very fast you can see that it combines them and that's the reason why we have to split because then we can just go ahead and split it on these and it, it happens sometimes so you can see it sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't happen and you can see here it really happened a lot so really it depends about how fast it is um and by the way the reason why i decided to use these um this doesn't matter. This could be anything as long as it doesn't actually show up in the actual JSON object. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. And I know that was like a very simple video, but I still think it shows a pretty awesome concept because we have been talking a lot on this channel or I've been showing you a lot of examples where we make different programming languages talk to each other. But this example here actually uses WebSockets to make that connection. Now, this isn't a two-way connection, but I'm sure you could make it two-way. And I think that's just a really cool and very dynamic way because WebSockets aren't anything specific to PHP or JavaScript. So you could essentially make any programming language talk to each other using WebSockets instead of what we have been doing in some of the other videos where we have been loading in from um, some kind of loader or some kind of DLL exporting some functions or something like that. Oh yeah, one thing I want to show you guys, if you want to play around with this, I will of course leave the code down below as usual. In your php.ini file, you will have to enable sockets because else you will get an error and uh, that's the reason. And um, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I know it has been short, but I hope that it has sparked you guys' curiosity. And um, maybe if you make something cool, leave it down in the comments and I'll be sure to take a look at it. All right, guys, that was it for today and hopefully see you in the next one.